few months ago, I bought this glow-in-the-dark Funko Pop of the bride from Disney's Haunted Mansion ride. And it glows. Like, it really glows. Really, really well. I'll shut my lights off at night and it'll be glowing super bright. I'll wake up in the middle of the night and it'll still be glowing super bright, as bright as it was when I first shut the lights off. And when I wake up in the morning, it's still glowing. This is a picture I took of it glowing in my room with the lights off. And this is a picture of the Dynaco Cruise Glow Racer, which was right next to it. Yeah, so as you can see, the Glow Racers aren't the strongest glow-in-the-dark things ever, but I don't really think that's a problem. These are just toys that are meant to be played with, you know, they're made of metal, this is made of vinyl, and it's a collectible that's meant to just sit around on your shelf. So, I would be disappointed if it wasn't always glowing. It works really, really well, and the glow racers still work really well. I'm just saying this because I want people to know that these aren't the, like, brightest things ever. Holding this up is not equivalent to a flashlight, you know? These are really just your standard run-of-the-mill glow-in-the-dark toys, whereas I'd say this Funko Pop really goes beyond that and is a lot brighter than most other glow-in-the-dark things I've seen over the years. I just want to sort of manage people's expectations for these. I'm not saying they're bad, not at all, but they really just work the same way as any other glow-in-the-dark thing you've ever used. You know, it's got all this fancy Glow Racers packaging, and you have this super bright neon lights on McQueen, but they just work the same as any other glow-in-the-dark toy. You put them in front of a light for a little bit, and then they glow. Immediately a few seconds in, you could see the glow dim a bit, you know? They're really just your standard run-of-the-mill glow-in-the-dark things, compared to, again, that Funko Pop, which works shockingly well. But I don't think that means they're bad. They work, they function properly, uh, they're really exactly what I expected. Anyway guys, welcome back to another review and to another Glow Racers review here on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dynaco Cruz Ramirez. An interesting item because, uh, well, she just kind of looks like a regular old cruise, doesn't she? This is pretty interesting to me. Most of the Glow Racers take regular Cars characters and either brighten up parts of them to be glow-in-the-dark, or create parts of them that weren't there before and then make those glow-in-the-dark. Their color of choice seems to be yellow, except for Jackson Storm, where his glow-in-the-dark parts are going to be blue, and the same goes for Ramon. Cruz, however, presents an interesting case. Cruz is already yellow. So, instead of having glowing decals, all of Cruz glows and her decals don't. Pretty interesting choice, which leads to an interesting inconsistency within the Glow Racers, where some have glowing decals, and then Cruz just straight up fully glows, and I think that's the same thing for Ramon. Yeah, pretty interesting choice there. Honestly, I will say that makes me a little disappointed in this Cruz, as most of these Glow Racers really stand apart from their normal variants. You look at Lightning, or the recently announced Will Rush, uh, and they look really different from their normal variants because of the colors they've changed. Cruise is just Dynaco Cruise with a slightly lighter yellow, and in a world where there are already so many nearly identical Cruise variants out there, I gotta say I'm a little disappointed by that. As you can see, we have the same old image of McQueen on the packaging of all these guys, and on the back you can see Lightning McQueen and Mater. Now let's get her out of the package here. These bubbles are absolutely massive. I talked about this in my last review. So here's Cruise out of the package, and once again, I really commend them for giving her a unique expression, but much like with McQueen, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't know, I think it's alright, I just feel like the eyes are a bit too closer together, maybe that's a bit too nitpicky. And out of the box, you could tell just how different of a shade of yellow this Cruise is. It still could totally pass for, you know, a regular old Dynaco Cruise. It's definitely not as pale a yellow off camera in real life. It really just looks super pale on camera. But still, you can see it really is just your run-of-the-mill Dynaco Cruise. Uh, the Dynaco font is a little different and a little differently placed. Um, the dinosaur's neck looks a little longer. No, I think I just made that up. Yeah, it's got all your regular old Cruise details. It's missing her contingency sponsors, so that's fun. I love these sort of translucent tires all these cars have. You can see that the spoiler 
is made of a glow-in-the-dark plastic material so that it can glow as well, which is really, really nice. The only thing that I don't think glows on this is the eye plate uh, and, of course, all the blue parts. Moving on to the back. Hey, they removed the rookie stripes. That's great. They always make sure to do this for Expanded Universe variants just to show you that this takes place after Cars 3, which is very nice. There's a look at her other side. There is a look at her base. Now, let's see how well she glows. It's already pretty dark out, so instead of standing in my closet, I'm just going to shut the lights off and hey, 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 all right, okay, yeah, yeah, I could get behind that, that's, that's pretty good, just like with the McQueen, and again, with most glow-in-the-dark things, um, th this is the part that I stuck towards my light, so it's going to glow the most, in fact, it looks like the rest of her is barely glowing so little that it doesn't even show up on camera, let me put all sides of Cruz in front of a light and see if we can get her fully glowing. In case you're wondering how I do this, I just stick these cars in front of the lights of my ceiling fan. I won't show you because I don't want my viewers to go blind. Um, remember that part where I said there are so many cruise variants that look the same? This this is what I'm talking about. Okay, lights off. There we go. All right, see, that looks really, really good. That is incredibly solid. Usually, they glow a lot brighter uh, off camera, but this is really good. This, this works really well. I'm, I'm really impressed by this one. Dinoco Cruz, I'm sorry I roasted you earlier on in the review when I showed how barely you were lit up in the box in the corner. Once charged up, this one, this is pretty impressive. But there you have it, Glow Racers Cruise. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I can't snap my fingers or else I'll drop the cruise, hold on. Bye now, that was a terrible snap. Thanos would be so disappointed.